founder of the Power City International Church, Dr. Abel Damina, has replied critics of his ministerial success and achievements. Recall that of recent, he has been criticized by many who say his ministerial success cannot be compared to that of those he is criticizing. While speaking with members of his congregation at the Power City International Church, the clergy stated that ministerial success should not be measured by the amount of wealth an individual immerses. According to the cleric, ministers who measure the amount of ministerial success by the amount of cash and material wealth an individual possesses are far from the truth. He urged ministers to beware of covetousness but focus their love on Jesus Christ. The preacher said Jesus should be the focus and the message of every genuine preacher. These were words from Dr. Abel Damina. They brag about houses, they brag about ministerial success to be congregation size, to be cars, to be estates, money, and they say because they have all of that, me, I don't have that, I am a failure, and they are a success. So their definition of ministerial success is based on material acquisition, and they forget that Jesus said, beware of covetousness. A man's life does not consist in the abundance of things he possesses. A man is not defined by car and money and houses and clothes. You know the disciples of Jesus who we are copying in ministry today did not brag about cars, jets or houses. They didn't brag about sizes of their congregation. The only thing they bragged about is Christ. Christ is our salvation. Christ is what we have. And if a man of God who is supposed to be happy that he has Jesus Christ is not satisfied with Jesus Christ, he is defining himself by car and houses and money, he is too carnal for anybody to model him. He is far from the truth of the gospel and is a bad model for ministers of the gospel. The book of Luke chapter 12 verse 15 says, And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisted not in the abundance of things he possesses. These were words from Dr. Abel Damina.